Morning, you guys. We just woke up in Tokyo after a very long travel day. Uh, we're gonna show you all around this hotel. First, I'm gonna have some morning coffee and go to the hot tub. Tokyo and we're gonna explore it's Friday we're here for three days in Tokyo before we move cities so we're gonna go out and check it out today want to shoot us out the sky they be hating when they see us flying by they just want to slow us down and hit your ride oh we really must be going while we got the time maybe they just hating on us we can both assume so we in the apartment but the mansion coming soon so we be in a spaceship baby. can we get a review okay let's try it mm. what's that that's refreshing this is strawberry flavored daikoku i think it's cool Strawberry's really good, and there's cream in the middle that I haven't gotten to. They talk shit, girl, don't be surprised. Your friends low key a hater. She wishes I would date her. I'm so glad that you ain't her. Nah, nah, baby, do yourself a favor. Tell them, see you later. Middle fingers up in the air. Cafe attitude, fuck em. Okay, we made it to the Ginza district, which I think is a lot of shopping and uh, high-end businesses. Uh, we're on the ninth floor of a terrace where there's a little park on top of a building. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, we'll keep walking around. I'll keep, uh, I'll keep showing you some stuff. Can't free attitude, fuck on. What's that in the sky? They be hating when they see us flying by. They just want to slow us down and kill the vibe. They ain't gonna get it, but whatever they can try. So baby, buckle up and tell them niggas bye-bye. Don't pay no attention to them giving you the side eye. They don't get the message, baby, don't even reply, right? They gon' see the vision when they look at it in hindsight. Girl, you're hiding in the surface of the planet Venus. You without my fresh show ain't gon' be the ride arenas. You are me and me, go baby, nothing come between us.
Guys, what's up? It's now 8.30 p.m. on Friday, our first full day in Tokyo. We did the most damage to Tokyo we thought we could do in one single day and walked a total of 10 miles today. Tomorrow we're at the uh, Totterman Hills Hotel, which is a Unbound Collection offering by Hyatt. So we'll move over there sometime in the middle of the day tomorrow, although I have really liked the Grand Hyatt. Uh, after we got back tonight, we enjoyed their uh, Grand Hyatt Lounge welcome happy hour again. Uh, for the second night in a row, which was pretty nice. Uh, it has a great view over the city and they are serving champagne and beer and wine and a bunch of other little apps and stuff. Uh, we will get to check out their breakfast skin tomorrow, which will be awesome because we love that today. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll show you what we get into tonight. I have a feeling it's not too much given we walked 10 miles today. <laughs> 2,000 years later. Alex and I are gonna do pool time this morning. We gotta be quiet though. Shh, shh, shh. Keep it quiet here. You gotta wear a swim cap in the pool area. It's really nice though. Everything is like perfect temperature. This is one of the most beautiful pool areas I've ever seen. <laughs> Also thought I would show the yen. This is a 10,000 bill, um, which at today's exchange rates, as of the day I'm filming this, is about 153 yen to one US dollar. Uh, so this $10,000 bill is equal to about 65 bucks US and a little bit of change, but uh, very interesting. In comparison to a US dollar, just the shape of it is taller. If you can see, it's just like a bit taller than a bill. So when you're holding it, it feels kind of, kind of big. Yeah. I made it to the top of uh, the Roppongi Hills viewing deck, Tokyo City View. It's pretty cool. Good morning from Tomarin Hills, Totterman Hills. I don't know. Uh, last night, look, Tokyo Tower, this is cool. Uh, this hotel is awesome. Uh, this is a new Hyatt hotel. I'm sorry, I haven't had much time to do a review. We've just been on the go, uh, but it's really cool. I'm in these like jammies that they give you from the from the room. They're pretty cozy, y'all. Uh, the Grand Hyatt in a way felt like timeless in the way that it was designed. Um, this more feels like very trendy right now you know, 2024 high end um, and feels very cool. Um, everything is in its place and has like a unique spot in the room. All the switches are like very satisfying to use and um, 
uh, I don't know, it, it, it all works together like a nice watch is the best way I could describe this hotel. Um, it has no pool, it just has a fitness center that is kind of sparse to be honest. It doesn't have like a ton of stuff, but you could work out in there and it has high-end stuff for what's there. The lounge has beautiful views in it um, and has some uh, like soft drinks and small snacks for you to go and have. Uh, the rooms themselves uh, are beautifully designed. Like I said, it just feels like everything in here has a place. Um, and when you get these cool little jammies, you can't complain. The mini fridge is stocked up with Japanese beers and other interesting liquors that I've not seen previously. There's this CBD infused chill alcohol. There's whiskey. Um, Japanese dry gin, some other unique soft drinks and sodas to Japan. Uh, those do come at a cost of this much money. I, I just love how all the rooftops here have like grass on them. Uh, very pretty that way. There's Tokyo Tower again. Okay, Alex came, now he got in the, the jammies too. They're pretty comfortable. Yeah, no, I would. Uh, they're actually kind of comfortable. They're, they're very large, but I yeah, they are like them. oversized uh, and very baggy, but they're pretty comfortable to be in. Um, I was trying to. What are your thoughts? The Grand Hyatt versus this hotel. Grand Hyatt versus this hotel. It, it's it's definitely different. They're both high end, but Grand Hyatt is definitely more of a luxury view where this is more of just like a modern traveler's thing. You're going here and you're going other places. Yeah. Or the Grand Hyatt, you're definitely going to go like the there Grand for Hyatt. the Grand Hyatt. Yeah, the Grand Hyatt's like the destination. Here is just like very high end, but you have other stuff going on. Yeah. Like if you were a business traveler, this would be insane for you. It would just be a nice place to come back to at night. They, they also have good stationery. This is like on there. His little bedside table is what, what is yeah. your review of the hotel? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I think that this is probably a better location, especially because we're above the subway than the Grand Hyatt. But I did like the Grand Hyatt for the space. Um, the breakfast there was great and included because we used the Club Access Lounge Pass's best redemption we've ever had, honestly. Uh, but tonight we go to a hostel and what I've learned is it's tough to pick two really nice hotels and then take your ass to a hostel. So stay tuned for that.
Some of us have status at Hyatt. <laughs> I'll literally rock your tank right now. Oh, oh fuck, that's nice. <laughs> well, we'll be taking a bath later. Oh, yeah. Is this carpeted? Yeah. Yeah, it is an air purifier. A little dust for me to do my work. Arigato. Oh, shit. oh, they have a Tokyo one. Guys, what's up? It has been a busy week. I've done very little updates filming myself on camera, although I've gotten a lot of clips of all the things we've been doing. We are currently in Kyoto as of this morning at the Hyatt Regency, uh, which has been one of my favorite properties we stay at the entire time. Um, we got a upgrade the last night we were staying here as a total of three nights. They upgraded us the last night as availability came up. That upgrade included one of the coolest bathrooms I've seen at any one of the Hyatts I've ever been to. They have this huge wood soaking tub 
in the middle of the bathroom and you have this sweet view that goes out into a nice zen garden. Uh, the bathroom itself as well is just massive. Uh, there's double vanity, which I haven't seen at any other hotel in Japan. Most of the hotels in Japan are a lot smaller than the ones in the US. Um, they just have a smaller compact size overall. Uh, but this one is massive. Um, it does have like US style double vanities in here, a huge mirror, again, this huge bathtub, a huge like closet area for you to store all your stuff. There's like multiple doors, mirrors. Um, it has a nice private like bathroom area. Bedroom itself is by far the biggest room we've seen in our time in Japan. Um, this has a TV area. People in Japan don't seem to have very big TVs like you do in the US. Um, the biggest I've seen is probably this like 40 or 46 inch TV here. Um, but it does come with a pretty nice big sound bar that you can put on. We did attempt this uh, during one night of our stay here, but unfortunately the, uh, the TV only plays in Japanese. Uh, so there's very limited selection for English speaker. There's also like these nice like art selections displayed at like certain sections of the room, as well as this just like massive balcony. There's no chairs out on the balcony though, just just a, just a big balcony. Hey guys, it's time for Christina's Corner yet again. Uh, coming at you live from Kyoto. I feel like I should have probably done this earlier in the trip, but now I have the perspective and we've done some really cool stuff. I'm not sure if you can see the background, but there's the city of Kyoto. Japan is beautiful. It has been a very cool experience. I think we've seen a lot. We've experienced as much as we possibly can. I think we fit in so many markets in Tokyo and Osaka and Kyoto and so many different stays. I mean, you'll see in Matt's video, we did a lot of Hyatt's, which was really fun. Separately, I know this is not a Japanese thing, but cassis has been my favorite thing because it makes every drink delicious. And now I kind of order, want to order some for back home. And if anyone knows where to do that, let me know. Um, and then I hope we get some more ramen before we go. I think the ramen here is definitely unmatched. So like I said, stay tuned.